In a substitute 1997, a dystopian culture lives in a land nicknamed the Wasteland. That is covered with waste. The shortage of water has transformed it into a type of cash. This general public is managed by a vicious and oppressive master named Zeus, who lives in a spot called the Hell House. In the initial scene, a man named Scout remains before Zeus and a cheering horde of his supporters. The pioneer likes to sort out battles between individuals he steals from the city. They fight to death inside an evaporated pool. Zeus possesses a contraption that is intended to extricate water from the human body. Each and every individual who passes on in the battle is sent into the machine where their body is destroyed and mushed to separate 10 gallons of water. As of now, the group is reciting Scout's name since he has killed every one of the adversaries he was made to conflict with. Be that as it may, Zeus can't allow a fearless man to like Scout disappear uninhibitedly. He makes his savage right-hand man skeleton kill him with a mallet to his head. Elsewhere, a teen known as the kid lives alone in a shelter. To make do, he searches through the Badlands, searching for significant relics of days gone by. However, the undertaking isn't all that simple. The emergency has made individuals transform into eager for blood creatures, prepared to kill anybody for a drop of water. The kid should stay covered up and away from the risky individuals to stay safe. One evening, he cycles to his work at another landfill. The spot is unfamiliar to him so he is extra cautious. While glancing through the garbage, he runs over three executed heads mounted on sticks. This implies somebody has denoted the waste as his own and is cautioning outsiders to remain away. The kid denotes the spot in his scratch pad that he uses to guard track of regions. He then, at that point, takes off prior to being gotten. Subsequent to cycling for some time, he arrives at his home, an underground shelter. Inside the shelter is every one of his possessions that he has found at the unloading site. It isn't the most secure spot in that frame of mind for somebody like him yet the kid is lucky enough that he has never been gone after. Some time later, he advances toward the nearby bar where just the regulars are permitted to visit. The spot is occupied by a water dealer named Bagu. The kid normally trades the stuff he finds with the dealer for food and water. This time, he gives Bagu a pen for a solitary jug of water. The kid is miserable in light of the fact that it isn't enough for him to endure seven days. Bagu sees this and gives him a Turbo Rider comic. The kid's face illuminates in euphoria since he is a stalwart Turbo Rider fan. Then, we are acquainted with an expert arm grappler rancher named Fred. He is likewise at the bar testing an enormous man. After an extraordinary match of arm wrestling, Fred wins to the surprise of no one and the rival needs to get the whole bar drinks. All of a sudden, one of Fred's partners comes to him with stunning news. Fred's sibling scout has disappeared. Simultaneously, the kid is in a jungle gym perusing the comic. Unexpectedly, a young lady shows up next to him and converses with him like they are companions. The kid frenzies and has a go at leaving however she stops him and makes him wear an unusual wristband. She then begins conversing with a body which makes the kid take off. Elsewhere, we see Fred and his men strolling to the Hell House to search for Scout, uninformed that he is now dead. They stop to take a rest when skeleton assaults and severely kills a large portion of them. Fred is left alive and brought to Zeus. In the shelter, the kid awakens to find the young lady from the jungle gym checking him out. She presents herself as Apple and forcefully takes a stab at befriending him despite the fact that the kid isn't intrigued. Incidentally, she followed him utilizing the wrist gadget. The kid had dropped the comic book in the jungle gym which she returns. Thus, he permits her to remain with him for a couple of days. He takes her out to search and trains her the ways of getting by in the no man's land. The more they stay together, the more he begins loving her character. Fred is brought to Zeus' place as a prisoner. Zeus has known about him as the renowned arm grappler. To test his abilities, he requests that he show his moves against Skeleton. Fred claims to broaden his hand yet thusly, assaults them. Yet, when he attempts to punch Zeus, Skeleton removes his hand. In the meantime, the kid and Apple get along beautiful well. At the point when gotten some information about her family, Apple says that her previous closest companion kicked the bucket and let her be. The kid was the main individual she met from that point forward, consequently, she quickly made him her dearest companion. The two play label which helps Kid to remember the youth he never got to appreciate. Unexpectedly, a man rises up out of the shrubs and snatches Apple. The Kid takes off in dread however the man follows him behind. At a certain point, he tumbles off his bike and winds up on top of a way to a fortification. It breaks, making him land inside. The spot is not normal for anything he has at any point seen. It has an odd shining circle that the Kid contacts in interest. When he does as such, the fortification lights up. He cautiously advances forward and finds the cadaver of his most loved superhuman turbo rider sitting before the control board. It just so happens, he should save mankind from obliterating the earth yet was killed before he could finish the mission. The kid wears the hero stuff finds that it actually works. He can toss strong power through his hand that kills with a solitary shot. The kid is now transformed into his most loved hero and is prepared to save his companion. 
He goes on a quest for Apple and encounters the one who kidnapped her. The man utilizes his separable punch to go after the kid yet his assault is frail against the super strong shock of power. In the Hell House, Fred, Apple, and an outsider are situated inside the unfilled pool. They should battle Zeus men and the ones who lose will be squeezed for water. Before the fight begins, the kid shows up and claims that he is a superhuman. Zeus giggles, asking him to feature his powers yet the kid's wrist gadget runs out of force and quits working. He is likewise tossed into the pool with the others and the battle begins. At first, Apple begins beating the adversary and the others watch in amazement prior to joining. The pool transforms into a puddle of blood yet the kid and the group win eventually. Zeus is astounded by the outcomes yet he conflicts with his words and goes after the gathering. Apple is shot dead while the others are gone after from behind. Out of nowhere, the kid's protective layer re-energizes itself and he figures out how to overcome everybody with his powers. The gathering leaves abandoning a paralyzed Zeus. When they are concealed, he arranges skeleton to kill every one of them. In the accompanying scene, Apple and the kid are on a sofa some place in the fields. The kid sees an opening in Apple's chest and finds she is a robot. At first, he goes ballistic and withdraws however Apple behaves like her typical self which brings him back. She likewise uncovers that she is a kinship robot made to turn into individuals basic encouragement. While getting back, she slacks for a couple of moments. At the point when she recuperates, she figures out that her transmitter is harmed and can work for a couple of additional days. To view as another one, they meet Bagu, the water dealer. He is aware of a spot where numerous feudal robots are unloaded that could in any case have a functioning transmitter. The couple advances toward the unloading site yet Apple quits working unexpectedly, dialing the two of them back. They set up camp and take a rest behind the remaining parts of a structure. The kid informs Apple concerning his folks who were killed by Zeus when he was youthful. Simultaneously, Skeleton and his kin have tracked down Bagu and stole him. With his guts joined to the wheels of a bike, he has gotten some information about the kid. At any rate, he lets him know that they went to the robot unloading site yet Skeleton kills him. The next morning, Skeleton shows up where the kid and Apple are. They take off yet are at last cornered on a precipice. Skeleton utilizes a sharp plate to behead Apple. A stunned kid attempts to get her head yet tumbles off the bluff simultaneously. Skeleton thinks the adversary is dead and gets back to the hell house. What he cannot deny is that the kid made do without any wounds in light of his protection. They at long last arrive at the robot unloading site yet presently Apple doesn't just miss a transmitter yet the whole piece of herself beneath her head. The kid tapes her head to an irregular body, encouraging her to awaken yet it won't ever work out. A flashback shows us that Zeus was only a scrounger before he killed the kid's folks and burglarized them. At the point when the kid awakens, he ends up with Fred. The man is taking him to a more secure spot however has left Apple back at the unloading site since she is a waste of time. Once more unexpectedly, Skeleton shows up before them. As the two prepare to battle, we see Apple reawakening. She utilizes the wrist gadget to search for her companion, to solidarity to battle the adversaries. The spot transforms into a bloodbath as individuals utilize grim ways of killing one another. Indeed, even Fred figures out how to break Skeleton's hand, leaving him vulnerable. The kid gives his all and kills the vast majority of them however battles to overwhelm a young lady. Right then, at that point, Apple shows up on her bicycle and cuts the foe with the unicorn horn. She reunites with the kid and gives him an extra part for his protection that will fix it. All things considered, Zeus will not surrender. He shoots the kid and Apple, proclaiming his triumph, failing to remember that the kid is safeguarded by a shield and Apple is certainly not a human. The kid dispatches a last assault on him and kills the lowlife. Eventually, he and Apple kiss under the downpour of blood. However at that point, a curve shocks them. Once more, Zeus stands up, uncovering he is really a robot which implies the assault caused him no damage. He is a corporate model intended to be a human's companion yet was dealt with savagely by them. Thus, he killed his lord and throughout the long term made his realm to control over people. The kid hits him a slip up and explodes him by shooting explosives that Frederick carried alongside them. In any case, the last blast hurts them also. Apple saves the kid from it however kicks the bucket all the while. The kid embraces her, grieving her passing. In the accompanying scene, the kid covers Apple. Fred uncovers that the blast prior caused a stream of water to rise out of the ground. He needs to convey it to individuals of the wasteland and save many lives. The kid wishes him karma and heads out to investigate the opposite side of the badlands where he has never been.